your two slip pocket pieces. They will look like these two long pieces. We're going to place these so they are right sides together and you're going to pin them along both the long edges. And we are only going to sew along the two long edges. That's it. The short edges will be left unsewn. You're going to sew this with a full seam allowance. You can trim your seam allowance down. So that is an eighth of an inch. And then you will turn this right sides out through one of the openings. And we will press this flat. So take it to your iron, roll your seams out to get this pressed nice and flat. Okay, so now that I have this pressed, we're just going to top stitch one long edge with an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Next, we need our lining main panel that has nothing attached to it and we're going to place this slip pocket where Kristen says in the pattern so you're going to measure up from the bottom and place it where she instructs place a few clips on the sides to hold it in place you will stitch this in place along the bottom and then up the short sides as well. Now you can take this slip pocket and divide it directly in half or divide it into three or four however you want it to be divided. So I'm going to go ahead and make some marks. I'm just going to use the measurements Kristen gives in the pattern for this. which gives you three pockets. So I'm going to stitch on these lines that I drew. And there we go, I've stitched right on the lines that I drew. Now I have three little separate pockets. When I stitch up here at the top, I like to back stitch a few times just for extra security because these pockets do take a lot of wear and tear. It gets pulled a lot and you don't want those stitches to come undone. So I back stitch a couple times just to make sure they're nice and secure. So this is how that panel will look. Now we need to attach our recess zipper. So you're going to need your completed panel with your laptop sleeve that's attached. I'm going to pin, uh, clip that together. You're going to take your center mark that you made on your zipper and line it up with the center mark on your main lining panel. And again, like we did the first time, we're going to clip this in place and then baste this to the main lining panel. You want to make sure the sides of your main lining panels all line up. If they don't, make some adjustments now before you sew so that everything is nicely lined up. And then sew this, as I do, with a quarter inch seam allowance, or you can sew it with a full seam allowance. I just prefer a quarter inch just so that the first seam allowance, if I don't sew with an accurate 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance, when I go to sew my zipper panel on, you don't see any of the stitches. There we go. The zipper panel is now attached to the main lining panel with the slip pocket. Now we need our trim and zipper panel. We're going to, again, line this up with the long raw edges. Line up your center mark again, just to make sure everything lines up nicely. If you're using a directional print, you wanna make sure that it is in the correct direction. You don't wanna have it upside down. We're going to sew this with a full seam allowance, which is 3 eighths of an inch. Then we will take this to our iron and press this trim and zipper panel up away from the main lining panel. So I'm going to do that now. I forgot to add my key minder. So I'm going to unpick a little bit here. I'm very sorry about that. 
I'm going to unpick this just a wee little bit where my stitches are just so I can sew my key minder in. I'm very sorry about that. That's the nice thing about our seam ripper. If we forget something or do something wrong, we can always unpick and correct what we've done. So I've unpicked that a little bit. When you're putting your key minder on, I like to place it so that this loose end is facing the main lining panel. We'll place this in the distance Kristen gives in the pattern. I need to unpick this just a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. We want to have the overhang. And then I'm going to clip this all back together and stitch this back in place. And no one will ever know that I forgot to install that but you guys. So I guess lots of people are going to know. So I just stitched over it and backstitched. I will be showing you how to do the zipper with it at the top. So when I show you how to do that, I'll explain how to sew the key minder to your bag. So you're not going to miss out on anything because I'll show you how to do that there. Now that this is all sewn, I'm going to go ahead and top stitch this with an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Okay, so there it is. The trim and zipper panel is top stitched to the zipper and my key minder is in place. With the bit of overhang that the key minder was supposed to have, no one will ever know that I forgot to do that when they look at the bag only you'll know through the video and that's okay we are going to put this to the side for now